Hey. Hi guys. This is my friend Fabio. Hey, welcome to my place. I've been in Shenzhen for on and off seven years now. Seven years? Yeah, I was. Um, I came to Shenzhen for the first time for an internship. Um, and then I've stayed, I left for a couple of years to go to the US and now I've been back for close to two years. Well, it's uh, my style. I don't know really how to describe my style. Something like Iris Apfel, more, it's more or less is a bore. So it's like just a mix of like a lot of things that I like. There's a lot of paintings, a lot of drawings, a lot of colors, as you guys can see, a lot of flowers, plants. Um, so I kind of try to give like a, a little bit of color, a little bit of life to the place since I work mostly from home. So I wanted something to be like comfortable and nice, something that I would love to come back or stay and enjoy. Uh, here, this wall is kind of like more of like a representation of all this stuff that I that I like. There's a bit of pop culture, a bit of David Lynch, a lot of drag queens, <laughs> the bar. I, I had to have a bar. I love vintage. I love um, retro stuff. So I kind of wanted to like bring some retro items to the place. So I got this um, Japanese cabinet here. I have some other vintage stuff as well. I have these chairs who are from 1920s. They're Russian chairs. I bought it from a Russian woman who was living in China. A lot of the stuff in this apartment is secondhand. I always love the idea of like repurposing and not having to buy everything new again. No, it's really hard because the concept doesn't really like, it's not very broad here. So like you can buy vintage stuff, but it's usually extremely expensive. So it doesn't have the same kind of extensive amount of stuff like you'd find in the US or Europe where you can just go and buy vintage or buy secondhand. Here's more you buy from other people. There's some websites as well, but it's extremely expensive. So I ended up buying stuff from people who are either living. I mean, China in general, like Shenzhen is a very transient place. So people are always coming and going. Um, so I lucked out. Um, I bought a lot of stuff from someone who was, um, she was a collector of vin vintage. And there's a lot of stuff that she couldn't bring to the US. So I just uh, brought to my apartment. So we have this chair here, um, but this it's like sitting chair, but it's, it was really old. It's a leather chair. So I just like threw something um, on top. I have some vases here who are vintage, a lot of like Taiwanese stuff. Um, some other vases over there that are also vintage. A lot of stuff is like new as well. Um, Taobao, because we're in China. So uh, nice. Yeah, but I, I love having this mix of like old stuff and new, this kind of like juxtaposition and then the art as well to kind of like bring some brightness to the place. Yeah, it's two floors. So downstairs uh, we have the living room, like a small dining room there and kitchen and a bathroom. And then upstairs there's two bedrooms and another bathroom. I've always been drawn to um, homoerotica. I, I love kind of the lines of this artist. He's an African American artist from the 1920s and 1930s from the Harlem Renaissance movement. So he's really known for this very like graphic, colorful lines. I always live with other people in China, so it was kind of really hard to input your style onto other people's houses. So when I moved by myself, I knew I wanted to do something that like really reflect the stuff that I liked. Uh, here on this other wall is another artist that I really like, uh, Emilio Sanchez. He's a Cuban-American architect um, and also um, a drawer. I really like this, this very like kind of bright, uh, you define lines in his work. So I just had two of his drawings here that are free for download. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> did you just make a replica print of them? No, yeah, they're like, uh, they're like available digital prints in the New York Museum Library. Oh. So you can just like print them and, and blow it out and have them in canvas. It's, it's actually really, really nice, yeah. I mean, a lot of flowers, a lot of plants. I try to have like fresh flowers. I try to change every week. I feel like it gives some sort of 
brings happiness and i don't know i always love the idea of like living in a place with a lot of flowers and plants and since i spend a lot of time at home i can like be here and take care and i love that i have a little balcony here outside where also like it's kind of noisy but there's a lot of plants i used to live with like a friend who's a landscape artist so she helped me put together here like lemon trees, I have herbs, I have like Chinese flowers, different kinds of flowers, I have some Brazilian flowers as well. So yeah, I love coming here in the morning, drinking coffee and just kind of, I mean, when it's not raining. Yeah, upstairs we have two bedrooms. Uh, I haven't really finished decorating the, the bedrooms yet. Um, so, so yeah, I know it looks like a college dorm right now, but here I have just kind of like I wanted like a big mirror before you go out and you have kind of like this inspirational quote or like a word, work, so you like you're getting ready and you're like, yes girl, work. Yeah, that's pretty much here upstairs, bathroom. I really like this really random painting that I got in a flea market as well. It's from Uzbekistan and it's apparently when someone new moves to your neighborhood you make this sort of like celebration for like a new neighbor. Usually I have like um, the master bedroom and then I have like a bedroom for some friends who are from out of town and they want to come to Shenzhen and spend the weekend. So I just have another uh, bedroom there as well available. I also use as a closet. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's super messy. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. It's definitely, yeah. So these are closet slash... Yeah, it's like winter closet. Some shoes that don't fit downstairs. It's like a second closet because I, I shop a lot. <laughs> yeah, the one thing that I don't like about this apartment, unfortunately, was like I was really iffy uh, when I was getting it. It's the bathrooms. It's a very typical Chinese bathroom where there's no separation of uh, wet and dry. Um, so you kind of shower and then you have to kind of dry every time you shower. Yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much my apartment. I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye.